Hey, good to hey. see you. Good to see you too. <laughs> Is Nina coming in? Yeah. Honey? When Eureka Strato has a medical appointment, she likes to tell her doctor what she and her wife Juanita are up to. Oh, wow. I got that swim chair that I told you about. Oh, cool. Had family yesterday, friends on Saturday, and then the rest of the week we get to relax, just the two of us. Nice. Yeah. But after a few moments, Dr. Sunita yeah, Shilam yeah. asked the $64,000 um, question. So how's your health doing? Yeah, it's going okay, you know. Um, my hands are getting weaker, mm -hmm. uh, more of a claw. Mm -hmm. um, I got a Julie now mm -hmm. to help me with my showering and getting dressed in the morning, helping with cleanup and stuff like that. Strato has ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, otherwise known as Lou Gehrig's disease. It's a rapidly progressive neurological disease that eventually robs people of the ability to move, eat, or even breathe. Take a deep breath in here. Strato was diagnosed with ALS in 2013. Well, when I heard ALS, I had no clue. I didn't know what it meant. Um, and then I read up on it and I was mortified. So are your legs a little swollen? Yeah. Yeah. Strato used to be exceptionally fit. Yeah. Now she can no longer walk or go to the bathroom by herself. Yeah. ALS is invariably fatal. Strato figures she has less than six months left. If what they say at the clinic is true, then it might be more than that, but that would be on feeding tubes and, mm -hmm. you know, a tracheotomy or whatever that's called, and mm -hmm. that's not something that I want to do at all. That's why Strata wants to take advantage of California's new aid in dying law when it takes effect next year. To do so, Strata will need to get another physician to confirm her terminal diagnosis. The doctors will have to affirm that Strato is mentally competent to make her own decisions. She'll also have to make two requests to Dr. Shilam for a lethal dose of drugs. Okay, 138 over 92. And at the end, Strato will have to have the ability to take the medication by herself. And, um, you know, it's not easy. No. Strato says she's glad she'll have the option to die before she totally loses control of her body. I think it's just humane. We help our animals out when they suffer. Why don't we allow the same for ourselves? And I know that they worried about abuse, but the, the way that this is written is like, you have to say it. Personally, you have to say that this is what you want, that you totally understand it. Shinelam concedes that some physicians don't want to have anything to do with helping a patient die. I mean, I actually also spoke with, with the local palliative care doctor um, that works with the hospital, and she personally would not do it. I was surprised, because she does end-of-life care. Um, I spoke to a couple other colleagues. I was in the hospital yesterday, and they, you know, one of them was thrilled and all for it, and, and one of them just said, you know, he just thought there was a lot of room for abuse. Under the law, doctors can refuse to help a patient take their own life. But Shilam believes doctors have a duty to their patients to relieve suffering, whether it's physical <laughs> or emotional. You know, the number one rule in medicine in the Hippocratic Oath is do no harm. It's like you're, you want to prevent hurt. Yeah. You actually want to prevent hurt by doing this. Yeah. At the end of their visit, Shilam assures Strato and Juanita that she'll help them when the time comes. It's, it's, it's um, wonderful to see you guys. And, you know, towards the end and whatever, you know, Jorge and I will be there for you. If we need to come to your home. We'll, we'll do what, what, whatever it takes to, to make you comfortable and... I don't want you to be scared about it. I think wh whatever happens will we'll make it as, as pleasant as we can. Right. So, thank you. Yeah. Tomorrow, we'll find out how some other doctors yeah. feel about the aid in dying law and how a exactly. similar law has worked in Oregon. Thank you, Janita. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Kenny Goldberg, KPBS okay. News. Okay. Yes. <laughs>